stopping people from embracing Islam. One day, Tofail, the son of Omar, who was a prominent and mellifluous poet and who had great influence in his own tribe, entered Mecca. Since Quraysh were always striving to lead astray, those who showed tendency to Islam surrounded Tufail and said, O oh, Tufail, do you see the man praying beside the Kaaba? Yes, I do, said Tufail. He is the man who has disrupted our unity by introducing a new religion. Yes, he has sown discord among us with the magic of his words. We are afraid that this unity might permeate into your tribe as well. So it is wise to keep away from him altogether. Tufail answered, I'll do as you say. The words of the people of Quraysh were so effective that he plucked his ears with cotton words so as to avoid overhearing even a word from the Prophet while circambulating around Kaaba. In the morning, with his ears still plucked, he entered the mosque. All of a sudden, sweet and beautiful words penetrated his ears and he felt excited and told himself, O oh, Tufail, may your mother mourn your death. You are an orator and a wise man. What harm is there in listening to his words? If they sound good, accept them. Otherwise, reject them. At this time, the Holy Prophet moved towards his house, and Tufail, keeping some distance from him, followed him. He asked for permission to enter his house and told the Prophet all about it. Oh, yes, this is the whole story. In the beginning, I had decided not to meet you. But your malefic words drew me towards you. Now I want you to reveal the facts of your religion and recite some of God's words to me. The Holy Prophet introduced Islam to him and recited some verses of the Holy Quran to him. Tofail embraced Islam there and then. I swear by God, I have never heard more beautiful words before, and no religion surpasses yours. Tofail continued spreading Islam in his own tribe till the Battle of Khibar. He joined the prophets in the fray with 80 families of his tribe. He remained a staunch Muslim, and after the demise of the prophet, he died a martyr during the time of Khalifa in the Battle of Yamana.